What is happening, everybody? We back with another reaction video, and I'll be reacting to the Umbrella Academy official trailer. This is a Netflix superhero series. Uh, I don't know anything about it, so I haven't read anything. I didn't even heard that this was happening. So let's see if this. I still need to watch The Punisher. I haven't watched The Punisher season two yet. This this reminded me of that. I still need to watch that. Anyway, here we go. In October 1989, 43 women around the world gave birth. None of these women had been pregnant when the day first began. How much do you want for it? Okay. I have adopted six they children. They weren't pregnant today. Gifted with abilities far beyond the ordinary. Two. I give you the Umbrella Academy. Oh, we're in Robin. 17 years later. Does anyone wish to speak? He was a monster. <laughs> Everything about our family okay. is insane. The monkey. It always has. Ellen Page. Is that my skirt? Oh, what is yeah, Ellen this? Page? It's very breathy on the bits. I used to see nothing's changed. I jumped forward and got stuck in the future. Do you know what I found? Absolutely nothing. When's it supposed to happen? In eight days. Oh, shit. The ground. There's someone out there who's trying to stop me from preventing the apocalypse. We need the full uh, force of the Academy. Bingo. Yay, sisters. Yay, sisters. That blood shit looks familiar like a scene. Get up. We're going. Where? Save the world. Oh, is that all? He should have been, oh, maybe later. I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> well, that definitely looks interesting. Did he say, I thought he said 47. Children, hold on. This one, he said 47. 43, okay. They gave birth, I didn't, I didn't see 43 kids, but I don't know, maybe they, they probably explained it, maybe they died, or maybe they're not at that school anymore, and they'll probably introduce them later on. It is, it kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, I guess the X-Men, but also, uh, Heroes, I guess you could say. Like, kind of like reluctant people who, well, the X-Men, I guess they aren't all re reluctant. They know what what the deal is, but they, but heroes, like, everybody's kind of forced to be, like, either be a villain or a hero, I guess you could say. Plus, they had that whole apocalyptic thing going on in that book. And a Siler crazy ass in that too, but this looks very interesting. I'm gonna have to check this out. I mean, it's superhero related, so I'm probably most likely gonna check it out. Cause hey, I mean, you can get through IRFS season one, then you can get through anything. I mean, <laughs> cause season one was rough. Season two was okay. I mean, especially compared to the first season. But season one, I was just like. I try to force myself to like that, and then I start watching the season again, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, I just didn't like it. But I know that you know they canceling no, though they canceled them, and Netflix is still wanting to get into the superhero gang. They trying to get that Marvel money, you know, Marvel that, or that DC money now too, because you know they get the billion dollar movie Aquaman 
probably gonna become the <laughs> most, the most, I guess, the biggest financial DC movie ever. If it, if it catches uh, the Dark Knight Rises, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, Ellen Page, and she's a good actress. So, but other than that, I know nothing about this story. I, I wonder if it's based on anything. I just want to look up some. I'm, I'm not going to read anything, but I'm just curious if, it, if it's based on a pre-existing dysfunction of family superiors coming together to solve the mysteries of the father's death throughout the apocalypse. Or Wikipedia, here we go. When in doubt, wiki it. Okay, it is, it's a comic book. Garrett Way wrote it back in... Oh, Dark Horse Comics. Between September 19th, 2007 and February 20th, 2008. Okay. So, okay, and I was figuring it was a comic book adaptation. But I mean, well, like, well, yeah, like, like I said, comic book adaptation of pre-existing comic book. We'll have to wait and see if that's actually any good. I mean, it kind of piqued my interest. I mean, it's superhero related. I like to see. I'm curious to see what powers are about here. I'm, I'm only guessing that the big guy has mind control. Like, <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure he has superhuman strength or some kind, but we'll have to wait and see. And Netflix been putting out some pretty good content lately, so we'll see. Anyway, what'd y'all think of it? Are y'all excited to see this? As excited as I am? See how, see how excited I am? See? But no, I'm, I'm sure it'll be. Well, I hope it'll be good. Let me know what y'all think and make sure to like and subscribe. I know people hate hearing that, but trust me, someone who's been on YouTube, just I mean, well, not a YouTuber, but you know, watching YouTube for years, you got to repeat it because you, you forget. Even I feel like, oh, psh, I watched 20 of these person's videos. I haven't liked or subscribed to any of them. <laughs> Don't subscribe to this show. Oh, it's this channel. Like, the fuck <laughs> so I'm reminding you like comment and subscribe even if it's amongst yourselves go comment amongst yourselves and I'll see y'all later deuces